On this International Migrants Day, it is important to remember that all migrants have, should need an equal protection of their human rights. For all humans, we have the right to equal rights. However, let me be also a bit more provocative on this International Migrants Day. It's a good initiative, no doubt about that, but it can also create harm, and especially using the category of migrant. Because who do we think of when we think of a migrant? We think of somebody who's rather poor, of a certain class. We think of somebody who's not white, um, and when we think about white, rich migrants, we call them expats. So maybe by using the category of migrant, we also make certain people into the other who are not similar. So while the intention is good, it might also do some harm. On this International Migrants Day, I want us to take this opportunity to reflect on the roles that migrants have played and continue to play in both their host countries and countries of origin. And also, I would want to remind stakeholders in migration governance, especially the EU, I mean, governments of host countries and governments of origin, to make sure that there is collaboration in ensuring that there is safe and regular pathways to, to, to migration. Because over the years, we have experienced a lot of people dying as a result of limited pathways to migration. So, a day like this, it's a great day to re reflect on, the, on what needs to be done to promote legal migration. I would also want to take this opportunity to remind governments of host countries to respect the rights of migrants regardless of what they look like, where they come from, or the language they speak. Migration adds a lot of value for any country. We should look at that in a positive way. We see now in the world, international communities they are more successful. If we look, for example, for country like the uh, United States or uh, Australia or other, they are much more successful because they accept many different kind of background people, many people from different uh, sides of the world. That makes this country more creative and more able to deal with uh, international community, with the international system. In this decade, emerging economies like China, India and Brazil, which are traditionally regarded as migrant sending countries, are increasingly attracting more and more migrants. This shows that they are gradually becoming the migrant destination countries. Therefore, we need to focus more on those countries and study their migrant policies to contribute to the study of international migrant. For the International Day of Migrants, I would like to focus on the production of migration policies which turn people into migrants, whether irregular or regular refugee or even other categories. And in particular, I would like to ask the question how come governments and international organizations seem to implement policies that go into the opposite direction of what scholars and migration studies have been saying for more or less three decades. And I think there are only very few fields in which academia and governments are like completely on opposite uh, ideas. So my basic question today would be, um, why do migration policies have a tendency to become stricter and stricter?